ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58, the channel that reviews wigs for the mature woman. Today I have another Outre wig for you. She is in a really pretty color too. Yeah, right out the pack. Look at that. This color is called DRFF Golden Amber. I'm just going to take the netting off of her and pull this thing out. She is a right side part and her name is Devita. I'm going to take this um, off here so that you can see her. She's um, a little bit wavy, which I like. I can never get these things off of here. These little tags and things, they, they put these on so that you don't get them off, right? Okay, so... Um, yeah, let's get all the string over here. So here is Davida. Again, I have her in the color D R F F Golden Amber. And here's a picture of her on the back. I think she would look really, really pretty in that reddish, that red velvet color at the end. I think that would be really pretty. So, um, you know the deal. She's got the basic stuff. Again, she's got the right side part. And the part looks good to me, so I don't think I'm going to have to do anything to it. Um, she's got baby hairs in the front. And they're really thin, even though they're long. And they're dark, so I think there's something I might be able to do with those. If you can see that. Let's see here. Yeah, you might be able to see those baby hairs there. And uh, just like usual, she's got... Um, Two combs in the front, one right next to the part and one on the side, a comb in the back, and the adjustable straps. So I'm going to plop her on my head. Now I put my wig cap back because I'm finding that when I do that, it's easier for me to make my part. So let me just put her on. Now I don't have a wig grip on with her. So right now this is how she's looking right out the pack. And I like the fact that she's wavy. And I'm finding that she's shedding just a little bit. She's shedding just a little bit. But um, before I do anything to her, let me show you what she looks like on the side. Here she is on the side. And here she is in the back. That's her in the back. Nice length. I really do like the length of her. Yeah. So I'm going to take off the, well, before I do that, let me show you her close up. Because <laughs> this color is really interesting. Okay, so check this color out. This color is really interesting because it's got like every blonde you could possibly ever want in life, right? <laughs> Look at that. It just, it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, this is great. This is a great color. Yeah. Oh, she's getting stuck to my lipstick. <laughs> so let me do this. Ah. Yes, so I'm going to go away and I'm going to cut off the lace and we're going to talk about her on the other side, okay? So see you shortly. Okay, folks, so I was about to take a brush to her and then I thought, oh, no, 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 I'm not doing that because I'm afraid I'm going to lose the curls. And so I just started finger combing her all the way around and said, forget the brush because honestly... I am loving these curls and I did not want to lose them for anything. So I just kind of went through and started finger combing her a little bit and fluffing her up because I am totally in love with these curls and waves on this wig. Now another thing that I noticed about this wig is it has really long baby hair. And that seems to be um, par for the course these days for some reason in these wigs. They're giving you these really, really, really long baby hairs. So I kind of wanted you guys to see. But what I did like about this is that they put them sort of like, they sort of like space them. So they're not like all over the place, but they're spaced, which is kind of nice. So if you decide you want to use one and not the other, then you don't have to. But uh, yeah, so I wanted you guys to see that. But I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for you guys.
Okay, ladies, I am back and I have styled Miss DeVita and I think she's awfully cute. Um, let me put some powder in the part here. As you saw, um, there were a lot of baby hairs on this wig and I actually had to take uh, some steps to cut them down because they were pretty long. Um, again, I like that they were dark though because the dark um, baby hairs are nice since, you know, if it's going to be dark rooted, the baby hair should be dark. Now, my little swoops, my little swoops stay pretty well. <laughs> they stay pretty well, but you know me. I'm, I usually don't even utilize these things, but I really am liking this side of the hair. You can really make a really nice um, swoop bang on this side of the hair. And again, the color to me is just gorgeous. I just really do love the color. Yeah, so, you know, me and, uh, me and baby hairs, we got work to do, of course, but I think the swoops turned out okay. Um, I had to try and thin out some of the baby hairs too with some tweezers because of the fact that it was getting thick. And that's another thing, when you are going to do baby hairs, the, the hair that you use can't like be bunched together. You have to pluck that out because once you start to swoop it, it's not going to lay like it makes sense. It's going to lay in like a thick piece. So you really have to thin them out so that there's not a lot of hair there. But let me show you again the close-up of this hair. Let me show you again this hair. Look at that. I love this bang. Yeah, you see my little swoop? My little swoop's not working over here. This one's trying to work. But uh, isn't this gorgeous? I think this is like the most gorgeous color. Um, and I just love these um, curls in here. And that's why I did not um, brush them out. I didn't brush them out because I just thought they were gorgeous. And check, I got my gigantic mirror here because this mirror really helps me see what things look like. But yeah, oh, my little swoops are going away. See, what the first thing I did was I used some of that Carol's Daughter to try to lay my swoops down. Then um, when I found out that that really wasn't working, um, I started using some Echo. But again, you know, swoops and me, you know, we have a love-hate relationship. So, you know, I'm probably in the final analysis just going to brush these things out of my way because honestly, I don't need them. So I'm just going to brush them out of my way. Yeah, I'm just going to brush them out of my way and pull the wig a little bit closer. Uh, yeah, and so another thing I wanted to tell you about this wig is uh, it's tight. I do, it doesn't have one of those elastic bands inside of it. And I didn't adjust the straps and I don't have on a wig grip. And as you saw, my wig cap is sitting back. Um, this thing is tight, so you might want to consider that if you have a head that's um, larger than 22 inches like mine, you might want to consider, reconsider with this particular wig because of the fact that the um, cap is not, um, it's not really big hit friendly. Um, but again, I really love this color combination and they're coming out with a lot of color combinations. There's another color that I really want in this wig. Um, no, I guess not. I, I was thinking that um, this one had the same colors as some of the two bobs that they just put out. And I've got one of those and I'll show it to you at another time. But um, yeah, this one has the DR4 Tiramisu, which is kind of a blondish brown, a DR2 Cinnamon Wine, uh, a DR Caramel, this color DRFF Golden Amber, and the DRFF Red Velvet, which I think is probably going to be gorgeous. So I'm looking forward to seeing somebody um, review that. Now, this also says HD Lace Transparent. We're going to talk about transparent lace in my uh, next live because I wanted to talk about different types of lace with you. But what I'm coming to find is that when someone says it's HD, I think it's in the eye of the beholder, just like beauty is. It may be HD for somebody and it may be uh, not HD for somebody else. This particular wig, I only had to put powder in the part. The front, you know, I'm, the front is light to me. I haven't laid it down, but the front is light, even for me. Um, it doesn't necessarily match. Now, I could probably make it match with some powder. Um, I don't think I'd have to use, like, any Ebon or anything like that, or Ebon or whatever, however they, they pronounce it. But the, the hairline looks pretty good for me, even though I have not glued it down. So this is a wig, again, that you do not have to glue down, uh, and I didn't glue it down. But as far as it being HD lace, that just depends on the person. Um, most of this lace is really light. Here's a piece of the lace that I cut off, you know. I mean, it's not far from my skin, but 
it's still not let me just back up the HD is supposed to be for everybody it's supposed to be a lace that allows everybody regardless of what their skin color is to wear it but I'm finding that the more I see things that have HD lace on them whether they're synthetic or human it really doesn't mean anything and it's funny because um as you know I'm crazy about Dominique A and her reviews and she did a review no, actually she did a live last week and somebody asked her about that the difference between HD lace and transparent she said there's no difference and I'm, I'm inclined to agree with that now I'm inclined to agree with that because of the fact that it's only HD to the beholder it could be HD for me but not HD for you so I'm really trying to ignore the whole HD thing now because of that and uh, this particular wig again says that it has HD transparent lace and again that might be true for you or for me but not for other people it says it's a pre-plucked part and here I go with my big mirror again as far as pre-plucked parting goes the part is great I do love the part I didn't have to do anything to the part and you also notice that I did not have to dark root it and that's another thing I really really love about this wig I did not have to dark root it but the curls the curl pattern and the color have got me the curl pattern and the color they just have me I love oops <laughs> netting everywhere I love the face framing part of it um yeah I love the face framing part of it I love the um the fact that it's this light blonde and then it gets darker in the back um, I mean as it goes back I love the dark rooting and oh one thing I wanted to mention to you is that I may be wrong but it feels like there's filler hair in here and I detest filler hair but in this situation I think it's okay because it's not so humpy that it's going to be really noticeable you saw that I put heat on it in the in the video and uh, you could probably put even more heat on it to make it lay down better but I I don't think that the humpiness is causing a problem and look these little I'm gonna end up having to pluck these um, these baby hair things out of here because unless I can get this thing to lay down properly it is absolutely of no use to me yeah I, I yeah I'm just gonna have to work on that cuz yeah even my my pen no you know my toothbrush is not helping the situation but yeah but yeah she is really she's pretty I really like her um, I love the color of her and I'm sorry I'm gonna get rid of my big mirror if you guys are interested in Davida um, I will definitely put the information down in the description section for you oh yeah she was supposed to have a five inch part I don't have my <laughs> tape measure so I'm not gonna be able to measure it but um, oh and and by the way she also comes in typical colors she comes in a 1 a 1b a 2 and a 613 as well um, but yes yeah, she's probably one of my favorites now that I've gotten this one she's gonna be a favorite and I finger combed her as opposed to brushing her out completely because I did not want to lose these curls and yeah I love these curls and I didn't want to lose those and I was afraid that if I completely combed it out that I might lose those so um, yeah so that is Davida um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification button so that you don't miss any of my videos um, oh I've got something to tell you guys um, I've got new lashes on let me show you my lashes you might not be able to see them really well but I got new lashes on and these lashes are from a woman named Soso -So Chanel and I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna put the box um, up on the screen I, I didn't bring it upstairs but I'm gonna put the box up on the screen these So So Chanel uh, lashes are really nice and they came in this winged um, format that I really like um, they have some that are a lot more um, um, flashy I guess you could say bigger wider than these but these were perfect for me because I didn't want anything that was like too flashy or too you know too much but they've got all kinds of lashes and um, Wheezy Wig Reviews turned me on to So So Chanel um, so I am a matter of fact hold on for a second I'm gonna go get the box okay so here is the box um, I'm gonna show you this is the box of the lashes So So Chanel and again Wheezy Wig Reviews told me about uh, her I like this box it's really cute it kind of opens up like this it has a little tab on the end opens up and closes and the lashes fit in there nice way to protect the lashes but uh, I had not heard of her but she sells these lashes and I think she sells some other things like clothes so I will put the information for this and in the description section for you too I just really like these lashes 
they were you know they were just great for me you know I didn't need anything like I said robust and so these are not so yeah so uh, if you guys are um, interested in supporting um, um, this young lady and her business I will put the information down oh the ones that I have on by the way are called so so soft they're called so so soft but she has all kinds uh, on her website and again I'll put that information down here so here's your last look at Davida so that you know what to go get when you go and buy her um, she is a new Outre wig and yeah I really like her and so she's definitely a 10 for me um, so again thank you guys for watching and as I always say if you're going to show love to anyone today please show it to the creator I'm still looking good and of course so are you see you next time